guys, welcome back to my channel. Now, if you saw my Facebook post, post yesterday, I said that I was doing a lot of prep work for today's video. And I'm actually going to be splitting this up into two videos because otherwise it's gonna be super, super long. So if you want to learn about the Magic Kingdom fireworks dessert parties, keep watching. Okay, so like I mentioned, there are a lot of, well, I guess I implied, there are a lot of dessert parties in Disney World. I think I counted 14 if you're including um, some of the holiday parties that they have. So I'm going to split it up and today I'm going to talk about the ones that are involving the Magic Kingdom fireworks and then my next video I am going to talk about the parties involving the fireworks and other shows in the other parks because Magic Kingdom by far has the most. So the first one we have, let's see. Okay, so you have the Tomorrowland Terrace dessert parties. There are, well, there's a couple of them. So when I say the Tomorrowland Terrace, that is a restaurant in Tomorrowland that has a fantastic view of Cinderella Castle. Now there is the, I wanna make sure I can get these, that I get these names right. So there's the Fireworks Dessert Party Tomorrowland Terrace and the firework, Fireworks Dessert Party with Plaza Garden Viewing. Now, the Tomorrowland Terrace has seating available. The party with Plaza Garden Viewing, you have to stand. And this is very clear if you look on, the Disney, on Disney's website. So that's the difference between the two. They're both in the Magic Kingdom. They're both, um, you go to the Tomorrowland Terrace restaurant. That's where you start out, I guess. And for the Tomorrowland Terrace Party, where you can sit, they ask that you arrive um, 60 minutes prior to the show. And it's $84 per adult and $50 per child. Now, the Plaza Garden Viewing Party, where you're standing, um, they say you can arrive up to 90 minutes beforehand. And that one is $69 per adult and $41 per child. Now I should mention that for the sake of these parties, like other Disney um, dining, anything really involving Disney dining, um, a child is someone between the ages of three and nine and an adult is ages 10 and up. I don't know why, that's just, that's just how they do dining. Um, you also, for all of the parties, you cannot use dining entitlements. Um, you can book them 180 days out like you can book regular dining reservations. Now, for specifically for the Magic Kingdom fireworks, all of the dessert parties online specify that you need to be checking the park calendar regularly. So you have to check it before you book it. You ha and you have to pay, for, unlike um, regular dining reservations, you have to pay for the dessert party when you book, not when you're eating like a restaurant. So they ask that you check the park calendars several times actually. You have to check them when you book. You have to, they ask that you check them two weeks prior. Um, I think they ask that you check them a couple days prior and then check with um, a cast member at that park on the day of the fireworks. Now, if there were to be inclement weather with any of these parties, generally Disney's policy, what they say online, is the fireworks or the show might be delayed or canceled and fireworks are not guaranteed. However, if that happens, they will almost always, I mean, unless it's like closed for a hurricane or something like that, they will almost always have the dessert party anyway. So you'll still at least have the dessert portion of it. Um, now, the if it's something, depending on where this is, if it's something where the it's open air and the desserts are outside, they'll move, obviously move it inside. You're not gonna be eating outside in the pouring rain, um, but keep that in mind. It's the fireworks are not necessarily guaranteed, which is common sense. If it's gonna be horrible weather, obviously they're not gonna have fireworks, right? Um, so it's, that is kind of common sense, but I did think I wanted to mention it here. Additionally, for all of these parties, park admission is required. So purchasing a ticket to the dessert party does not give you entrance to the park. That just gives you entrance to the dessert party. So if it's a regular park day, you need to have a regular park ticket, and then you also have to book this dessert party. If it is um, a hard ticket event like Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party or Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party, you need to purchase a separate party ticket for that as well as book 
the dessert party. And I'll get into those. They have different dessert parties for those events as well. Okay, so those are the two dessert parties before the regular fireworks. So you get your dessert and then they bring you out to the plaza garden area and you sit or stand and then you watch the fireworks and then you leave. So there is another party, which is the Magic Kingdom after fireworks dessert party. And this one is standing as well. So don't count on seats, you gotta stand. So this one is, like I said, these are all Magic Kingdom and this is also at the Tomorrowland Terrace restaurant. They ask that you show up 60 minutes prior to the show and it is $69 per adult and $41 per child. So let's see, are those, yes, those are all of the regular Magic Kingdom fireworks party. Now they have holiday parties as well, like I mentioned, during hard ticket events such as Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. So I will do those next. Now there are two Halloween dessert parties that you can attend. And again, you need to have the separate ticket for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party in addition to booking these dessert parties. There is the Happy Hello Wishes dessert party with Plaza Garden Viewing, and that has pre-assigned seating, Magic Kingdom, Tomorrowland Terrace Restaurant. Again, this is select nights. Now, the first night you could have booked this was August 17th, and it runs through Halloween 2018. It is $84 per adult and $50 per child. Now, the other one, which is standing, is Hallowishes Fireworks Dessert Party at Tomorrowland Terrace. Um, so, same deal, Tomorrowland Terrace Restaurant, same nights. Um, and that is $79 for adults and $47 per child. So you're spending an extra $5 per adult and an extra $3 per child if you want to sit. Now, as far as times go, the party starts, it says dessert party time is 9.15 and the fireworks are 10.15. So if there are um, two shows, then keep that in mind, it's the 10.15 show. So when I'm saying that it's a standing area, it's a reserved standing area. They're not kicking you out into um, like the street with the masses. It is a reserved area only for the people who have paid for this party. But within that area, you don't have, um, there's still obviously going to be some spots that are better viewing and some spots that are not as good of viewing. Um, but those are the two Halloween parties. Now for Christmas, again, there are two Christmas parties. Um, so there is the Holiday Wishes Fireworks Holiday Dessert Party with Plaza Garden Viewing and the Holiday Wishes Fireworks Holiday Dessert par Party at Tomorrowland Terrace. I don't know why these are, this has to be so complicated. I made a spreadsheet of this in Excel. I mean, the names, I don't, I don't know how you can possibly keep this all straight. So both of these parties are on select nights. Again, so this is when Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party is happening. Have to have that ticket in addition to this. Um, same deal, Tomorrowland Terrace Restaurant and the Plaza Garden Viewing where you're standing, $69 per adult, $41 per child. Um, if you want the seated one, $84 per adult and $50 per child. And for the Plaza Garden Viewing Party, they said you can arrive 60 minute, up to 60 minutes prior to the show and for the seated one, at that's the Holiday Wishes Fireworks holiday dessert party at Tomorrowland Terrace, they say you can arrive up to 90 minutes before the show. You, When you book this, obviously, I would presume, you're going to go on the Disney website and not just entirely base this off of my video and then call. Um, read the description on their website to make sure you're getting the right one because, I mean, there's so many. Just you wanna make sure you're, you're keeping this straight and double check the times. In some of them, it says arrive at this time and some of them, says, some of them say you may arrive at this time. So. Um, that is a slight difference between some of these parties as well. Okay, so those are all the parties in the Magic Kingdom for the Magic Kingdom fireworks. However, there are two more. I know, calm down, right? So the other two are cruises. And because they're cruises and they do not leave from a park, you don't have to have park admission. So there's the Fairy Tale Fireworks, a sparkling dessert cruise, and that one leaves from the TTC, which is the Transportation and Ticket Center. If you are driving, that is where you park when you're going to the Magic Kingdom. It is very near the Polynesian. 
Um, so it leaves from the TTC and goes out into Seven Seas Lagoon. And again, this is on select nights. This is not um, holiday themed, but it is just on select nights. You can't do it every night. Um, and the boat leaves 50 minutes prior to the start of the show. So if you are late, you cannot go. I mean, it's a boat, it's gone. There's nothing you can do about it. And this one is $99 per adult and $69 per child. So you can see it's a bit more expensive than the others, but you don't have to have separate park admission for them. So when you leave the dock at the TTC for the sparkling dessert cruise, you obviously are getting desserts and the desserts are themed to the resorts that are around the Seven Seas Lagoon, which I think is so clever. So the resorts around the Seven Seas Lagoon, in case you are not familiar, are the Polynesian, the Grand Floridian, and the Contemporary. I wonder if they're including Wilderness Lodge in that because the Contemporary, I think is technically, I mean, that's Bay Lake and then Wilderness Lodge is Bay Lake. I'm not sure. They may or may not include Wilderness Lodge in that. But um, yeah, I think that's, that's super clever and um, different, very different from the other experiences. And again, if there is some sort of horrible weather, this is not going to happen. So, unfortunately. Okay, now the last one I'm going to talk about today is the Pirates and Pals Fireworks Dessert Cruise. I've seen it called the Fireworks Dessert Cruise and the Fireworks Dessert Voyage. I think I like Voyage better. Let's go with Voyage. The Pirates and Pals Fireworks Dessert Voyage. Um, now this leaves from the Contemporary Hotel um, at their marina, and it didn't specifically say, but I'm going to presume that the cruise is in and around Bay Lake. And it leaves, I'm sorry, they ask you to arrive one hour and 25 minutes prior to the fireworks show. So it's, they say that the event starts one hour and 15 minutes prior to the fireworks show, but then they say, you should arrive 10 minutes early. So why don't they just tell you to arrive one hour and 25 minutes ahead? I'm not sure. Um, this one, I have the price listed as $72 for adults and $41 per child. Um, plus tax. And th for this one, it says packages include, um, you have snacks and a lot of these parties, they have sweet and savory snacks. So they'll have fruit and cheese and then things like cupcakes and other kinds of desserts. They have drinks. Um, sometimes there's alcohol, sometimes there is not. If there is alcohol, you must be 21 and older to drink and you have to have a valid ID to prove that you are 21 and older. Um, hot and cold beverages, you can get coffee, hot chocolate. Um, for the Pirates Voyage, I believe they said there was Pirates Punch don't know what that is. I'm sure it's all natural and very good for you. Um, and they also have a character photo op with Captain Hook and Mr. Smee. Um, and then there's another surprise character to meet you when you return to the contemporary. So those are the Magic Kingdom dessert parties and they've been very popular. When we were watching the Spelltacular at the Villain Spelltacular at Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party a couple of weeks ago when we were in the Magic Kingdom. Last week, just over a week ago now. Um, we were standing right by a man who's talking about, he has done one of the Tomorrowland Terrace. Actually, he would have done, let's see, I can tell you exactly which one he did. <coughs> Excuse me. He did the fireworks dessert party Tomorrowland Terrace where you can sit and he thought it was absolutely fantastic and totally worth the money because you don't have to fight the crowds, especially if you have a stroller. He thought it was amazing um, and he said they, he and his wife were able to sit at a table and relax and enjoy their desserts and their drinks and watch the fireworks and their child was actually sleeping in the stroller um, next to them. They didn't have to worry about any of that. Um, their child would have been very young. Had my child been over three and I paid a lot of money, be like, you wake up and watch this. I paid good money for this. Um, but I saw their kids and the, the kid would have been really little. So less than three, you don't have to worry about it. Um, but yeah, it is something that's definitely pricey because this is in addition to the cost of entrance. You have your regular park ticket or your um, hard ticket event for the party and I think they're becoming very, very popular, which is why Disney's adding so many of them 
They're extremely, extremely popular and they're extremely popular for a reason. So people are loving them. So I think this is all the news you can use on the Magic Kingdom fireworks dessert parties. And in my next video, I will address the dessert parties at Epcot, Hollywood Studios and Animal Kingdom. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.